What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online, www.whatsupinthesky.com. As always, come check out the forums, sign up, communicate, everything there, no trolling going on over there. And we got, like I said, I haven't been bringing out as many videos lately. I was looking at the 700, I'm going through them and trying to figure out which ones I should go back into the PDS and look at them and see, you know, we're only looking, this is a new one from 1526, fresh off the river. Uh, my buddy Art sent this one to me, but the ones that are, you know, from the 1200 and I think 50 backwards, well, you've seen, if you've watched my channel, if not, check it out. It's like the best in HD quality. It's about five videos ago. You get so much more better quality from those 8-bit lossless you know, lossless uh, images, so you got to convert them yourself, it's kind of a pain, and I am going to do some tutorials on it, because uh, over at the website, there's a forum there, we've been doing some, Todd's been helping and everything, but all right, so let's get into this thing, we've got some very interesting stuff all over this piece, we've got this, this, what looks like was some sort of carved out machine or something at some point, and I'm under the, I'm looking at at Mars, if you've never been to my channel, as there was a cataclysm there that destroyed at least a Type 2 civilization, maybe even Type 3, depending on uh, how advanced they were. Um, they could even be part of us, as far as we know. You know, who knows? But I, I believe there's either a war there, like a, a cataclysm, like something that had, like what had killed up the dinosaurs here, but on a much bigger scale, where it lost a lot of its water. A lot of its water also seeped down into the ground, and a lot of it went to the poles. But there is an awful lot of debris that laid in. So whatever laid into Mars really pressed a whole lot of debris down. And Gale Crater was picked for this reason, because they, uh, NASA doesn't send something anywhere... Um, without a reason, especially for certain, you know, certain areas, but, so we've got this here, which is cool, you, I could spend hours looking at that, see how, see how we're on like a ledge here, it's starting to go up the hill, you know, we're starting to get up into here, where things are starting to look clear, the cameras, of course, are getting worse as we go, and you can see, like, I try to give it a little bit of color with the auto color, that's all that I usually do, is hit, just hit image, auto color, or layer, I've got to be on the thing here, but just to show you that we're not, when I do it, I'm not really changing much. See, not much difference from that to that. I actually blur a little bit out more on mine, just so it looks a little bit not as crunchy, but, oh. <laughs> so, all right, let me back out of that. All right, but. So you've got this piece right here. Now this looks like it's a, like basically like a, a stick of, I wish I could see this from another angle from the top because it looks like there's a, uh, a circle there with something in the middle. From where we are other than that, that's just a, a guess. But, um, you know, that's what my depth perception stuff is showing me or telling me. There's this neat piece here. It's just like stuff is just floating out of the sand now that's what i love about it because whatever happened here man stuff just went flying everywhere gone uh, blink of an eye that's what it looks like happened you know if not at least this stuff that we're seeing now which is battered and battered and battered most likely by water until all of it was gone uh, all of it had seeped back in however whatever happened whether it was a war um whether it was it could have been a combination of things who knows how civilized the, you know, they actually were so here's another platform you know, before I get off on a tangent here see how perfectly out you know that is it almost looks like it's everything's supposed to be coming this way you know as a platform as you can see this wall down here and you also can see some hieroglyphics right here this is pretty amazing I think it looks like hieroglyphics it's got two balls here one two I, I know some of you guys just giggled it's got this little piece now it actually looks like a little sperm. <laughs> Maybe the joke is on us here from NASA. Here's a and here's a box. Oh man, this is this is bad. Maybe this just me being perverted. Look, there's a box. There's two round tennis ball looking things, and then a random sperm piece. If I would draw a piece of sperm, that's what I would draw. And here it is in the NASA. <laughs> so I did not do that, but they did put in this awesome wall check that thing out i mean this looks like it was some sort of plated it goes around um, there's also some on the other side we'll show you in a second 
Uh, here you got stuff just coming, sticking straight up out of the ground, like piping or something. Excuse me. So, I mean, you can see the shadow under it. What in the world, you know, what in the world is this stuff? But what you keep, sorry, my chair is so, my chair is so noisy. I'm, a, I'm getting my setup together. I'll make a video to show you what I've got set up so far. I'm going to be able to do my music in here, be able to make my videos. Uh, I'm just trying to cozy up the place. Okay, see how that, that mineral piece is right there again? It looks like it's used in something. See how this comes to, I mean, it comes to shapes. Very interesting. And this piece right here caught my eye as well. It's pretty cool. It just looks like it's standing upright. I love to see how thin it actually is because it looks like art. Look at the hole in here so you can see through it. It almost looks like a face of somebody silhouetted looking down with their hand on their chin. It's pretty cool. So it's, uh, then you got this here, just, just what you would expect from droppings and like whatever was smashing into something that you would expect this stuff, especially if it was a pretty civil, civil, civilized place, you know, and when, if the water left quick, um, so stuff didn't oxidize as much, we just see the dirt that's red. And I think most of us are under, who are, you know, do this as anomaly hunters agree that NASA changes the colors to this puke color here. Um, whether or not they do or don't, I believe it's being done. Just because they did it on the rover, even uh, people claim to have seen them change. The first Viking ones came down were were a blue skies, and then they brought out more, another one was red skies. So they put up the hue of the red um, just to, I think, prove because it looks so much like Earth. And no, it's not because it's not on Mars. So I can't stand those those comments anymore. So I shouldn't have said that because I'm gonna get trolled on them. But it's pretty interesting. There's a lot of stuff all over here. I mean, you can let your mind wander for a real long time. I mean, that's why I try. Cause I'm trying to give you guys like the best of the best. Uh, more stuff just sticking out. Okay, let me show you up here. There's a couple of things, and then we'll get back at it. Wasting your time. All right. There's a Surfboard looking thing here who knows what it is, but it looks like it's got either a whatever whatever it was It's been blurred out some by either the camera or a piece of software But if you really look at it, it kind of comes around up and there's also a lot more to it over here So I wonder why that got blurred out and there's a spear right here. Look. It's not even done Very interesting hmm. But check this out. I thought this was cool, too You got a sphere up here with a brown piece that sits on top of then you got this. It's a uh, like another iron shaped piece with a nose, not a nose piece, but basically a hole here and a hole like that looks like a mouth. All right, let me let the kitty in real quick. All right, hold on, let me pause it. All right, so now I've lost my, uh, <laughs> I've lost where I was, cats. Okay, up here, I've got. Uh, okay, we got these interesting pieces. See how it's got the. The piece it's just just kind of randomly cut out. I mean, I'm not sure what type of water process would have done that. I mean, it, it's very interesting. Mars has been absolute fascination since, for me at least, since they showed up. Since we started getting rovers on the ground and putting, since you know, when we could go, I've got old school Viking and uh, things here. I ought to bring them out and show you guys. That was given to me from my great uncle when I was young. They're, they're awesome. Um, from NASA. It talks about those missions and shows some things. And, you know. Anyway. So, another piece up here. Check that out. It looks like it's got... It looks like if you're on top of it, have symmetry. But look how it's kind of just propped up. Just like it was tossed about. Here was what looks like a triangle with some big, big bright color just tossed up metal looking piece all right I think I got everything I'll go back to the one I really want I said my what in the heck one yeah these were kind of cool just random randomness out here so that piece comes together it almost looks like two clam huge clamshells it's some interesting pieces of uh, hardware or something I mean look at it, it looks like a piece of hardware like military hardware. It's got different colors in it. It's very strange. And look at that. It's almost like a boomerang. I didn't even notice this the first time around. 
Wow. I wonder if I could, I could probably get that out a little bit more if I tried. Down here you've got, as I noticed, looks like more blocks cut up and cut out. Look at this. Another, these come up and over. This shows that it was definitely done for intelligent reasons because there's a bevel there. See how there's a hole here in this one that comes up? Let me see if I can just do these right here. Ready? We're going to take that layer, make sure I'm on the right one. And we're going to jack this up. We're working together here. Come on. Let's see. I haven't done this in a long time. Okay. So we've got something sticking straight up. These are all going down. they got holes into them. And uh, there's a square piece back here with something in the front. Very. Let's see what comes up when you come up forward. Interesting. Pareidolia, whatever that is. Well, I, we know what it is, but whatever this piece is. But this is interesting stuff here. I mean, it, it just matches kind of, you know. And when it comes down to the the bottom part here, this thing, looks like it fell out of the sky <laughs> or, or did something. Check that out. Let me get as big as I can. It's probably blurry on most of your screens, but some people have cell phones and can lean back. That thing is pretty cool. Comment below. Let me know what you think. I love you guys. It's been a while since I made videos. I'm going to try and pe like I said, I got a lot to put out, but I'm working on a big project you guys hopefully will dig. I hope you guys will get to it, get into it. Um, it's about Mars. I can't give out all the details yet, but very exciting to come. And this thing is just, uh, they're just coming in. I wish that the newer pictures were crisper like the old ones, but they're giving us stuff like this to play around with. It's uh, pretty neat. All right, guys. Much love. Have a good one. Oh, 11 minutes. I didn't talk your off too bad. And we had a cat break, and I think I stumbled, stopped talking. I tried to make this video like six times already, and something would happen. So, like, hopefully when I hit stop, it works. All right. Much love. Peace.